Hi everyone, it's Bella Gemini's and today I'm going to make over this beautiful blue acrylic clutch. Much like my last video of the acrylic clutch, it's going to be similar except the theme will be different. So if you want to learn how to make this, just keep on watching. It'll go from this to this. For this design, you will need to lay out your stones and take a picture. So here I have some glass and I'm going to be placing this on top of the bag. We're going to be gluing it with our E6000. So you map it out the way that you want it, take a picture, and then follow the map. Remember this should fit like a puzzle piece. This is very reminiscent of my mirrored handbag that I designed and my scenic mural. I'll post links below to the video and I'll show you some photos. None of the stones should be sticking out of the bag. Make sure they are tucked in. I did wash with soap and water all of the glass stones. As soon as you glue the bottom, make sure you start working on the top. Make sure that they are touching. Squeeze them together and don't let them slide off to the side. The next thing I'm going to do is add our seahorse to the design. This is a brooch. You need to remove the backing, so you'll need pliers or wire cutters for it. Make sure when buying a brooch that it is flat and not curved, otherwise it won't sit well on the design, so you want it to be flat. Before you put the seahorse, make sure that this is substantially dry. So now we're going to fill the whole brooch with glue for the exception of the head simply because the head doesn't have any glass to stand on and so if it sits without anything underneath the glue will get on your acrylic. So make sure you only put glue where it's going to be lying flat on the glass. The next step is to take apart this bracelet and use some of the charms for the design. So now that I've taken apart the starfish, it, you can see it has a hoop and an attached jump ring. I'm going to be attaching a seashell to the end of it. But since it has that hoop, you want to make sure you cre create a little space for it by inserting it where there's a divot. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to add the seashell as a dangle on the side. So that'll be a perfect little nook for it. Only put glue in the sections that touch the actual glass so you don't want to put it anywhere where it curls up because that will not be touching the actual glass. Let this dry completely before you add the seashell. So I'm going to add some faceted crystal AB so that I can give a little sparkle and cover the little glue area. Make sure that you put a clear coat of nail polish over your pearls if they are synthetic. So this is the finished bag. You can see that it is an ocean floor scenic mural with our seahorse, our starfish, our pearl accents, our starfish here with a shell dangle. We have another starfish with shell dangle and another one here. And it looks so beautiful with the glass. The contrast of the matte glass with the shiny acrylic is so beautiful. The color of this bag is gorgeous and I like how it looks with the gold. Now it wouldn't be a Bella Gemma Nails design if I didn't add the final touch. So here is the final touch. I'm going to be adding a purse handle and it's made of chunky pearls, two different sizes. I also bought a smaller one so you can alternate it between both. I want the bigger chain, so let's see here. So you can just pop this on and carry it over the nook of your arm or hold it just with your hand. I think that the combination of the pearls with the pearls here really just kind of brings out the whole 
design even more so and it just makes it pop it makes it so unique this is such a fun and creative way to embellish and customize your bags if you like this video as much as i did please give me a big thumbs up or pop a comment below or perhaps do both and if you're not yet subscribed please do so down below i thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye